Welcome to Dr. Tom Tours. Today, I'm going to be teaching heart anatomy, basic heart anatomy. So sit back, relax, make yourself a cup of tea and enjoy the following. Using the biodigital human, I'm going to be showing you what the heart chambers are, the great vessels of the heart, and also the valves of the heart. So this is your heart. It's about the size of a fist, it sits inside your chest and it beats anywhere between 60 and 100 beats a minute normally. So here you've got this cardiac fat around it, but I just wanna show you what the chambers of the heart look like. Obviously they're not this color, but I've colored them to delineate them. So here's your right ventricle, your left ventricle, left atrium, right atrium. So the right ventricle and right and left ventricle, they're the big pumping chambers of the heart. The left ventricle pumps the blood to all areas of the body aside from the lungs and the right ventricle pumps to the lungs. The left atrium and right atrium, they bring blood back to the heart. The right atrium from the lungs, the right, so excuse me, the left atrium from the lungs and the right atrium from the rest of the body. Now the great vessels. Here you've got the aorta, the largest vessel in the body. That is the blood vessel that receives blood from the left atrium that I just showed you, left ventricle that I just showed you earlier. And that gives blood to the entire body aside from the lungs. And that's the pulmonary trunk, which delivers blood via the pulmonary arteries to the lungs. And then we've got the superior vena cava and an inferior vena cava. This is part of the venous system. Blood comes back from the rest of the body into over here, the right atrium to the heart. It's deoxygenated blood, right atrium to the right ventricle, to the pulmonary trunk, out the pulmonary trunk, to the pulmonary arteries, to the lungs. Then once it's done in the lungs, it comes back via, the, via these pulmonary veins to the left atrium. Then left atrium goes into your left ventricle, then out the aorta to the rest of your body. That's how it goes. And finally, these are the valves of the heart. So there are four valves in the heart, uh, the mitral valve, the tricuspid valve, the aortic valve and the pulmonary valve. Here, what I've done is I've just made the great vessels um, and the aorta and the atria um, see-through so that you can see these a little bit better. Here you have the ventricles down here uh, that you can still see, um, but they all have three um, like kind of Mercedes sign um, valve leaflets aside from the mitral valve, which really has two-ish. <clears throat> so those are the, the uh, valves. And I've just done one little last view. So you have the entire heart that is see-through, aside from the valves themselves, and also these things called chordae tendineae, uh, which are attached to the mitral and tricuspid valves. Um, they're kind of these stringy attachments that are then attached to these papillary muscles. So that is basic heart anatomy. Here you've learned the chambers of the heart, the great vessels of the heart, and the valves of the heart. This has been a Dr. Tom tour. For any more information, go to biodigital.com.